It's the mama having to remind her friends to take a shower because they smell like onions and do not shower regularly. For me. It's the 15 inch toy dick in the third drawer for me. Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Malachi here, and welcome back to Random Sunday. Now, for those who don't know what Random Sunday is right now, well, <laughs> to be honest, I can't blame you. I haven't done one of these in a while. <laughs> But for those who don't know what Random Sunday is, basically Random Sunday is basically whatever the fuck is going on. That, that's random. So that's including reactions, gaming, um, you know, shit like that. Now, you would think I would do like some, like some TikTok shit. This is different. We're gonna do something a little bit different. We gonna, this, <sighs> <Ooh. laughs> Today, we gonna be on, some, we're on YouTube. And we're gonna we're gonna do something interesting. So for those who don't know, this is London Charles. So those who don't know who Lo what London Charles is, he's basically the Tyler Perry of TikTok. Now this man have a full series. If you want to take a if you want to take a check him out, I will I will post his link in the description below. Be sure to follow him. And what I thought we do, let's get right into this shit. So we're gonna do the try not to laugh challenge. So now I'm gonna make this a little bit interesting. We're gonna do a try not to laugh challenge. I laugh a lot, so let me get all the laughs out now. So, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> See, that way you know I'm not ready, but I'm not ready. Look, 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 look. My, my headphones are attacking and shit. When I get back to my store, y'all's hands will be cleaned, and I want the bitches out of my skin. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. My mom watched this since last time. I don't recall inquiring on the last time you watched dishes. Yes, ma'am. Kyrie, you out of here, or did you hear what I just said? I hear very well, and your other two sons responded, which means you've been heard. You got a smart ass mouth, and I know you got it from the damn daddy side, because you ain't get it from mine. Why can't you be more like your brother? Okay, it's time to snitch. Let's start with Brian. Where were you last night? I saw you sneaking in from the back door at 4 a.m. What? Wow. Oh, I was just hoping Mama's pride and joy and Miracle Baby was going to open his mouth. You want to talk to Mama about why Planned Parenthood called here the other day? Said that you and some girl named Brianna missed your appointment? Wait, Mama, there's more. I didn't mention how one of them caught genital warts and your credit was ran for them to finance some Adidas. It's always the little sibling, but I swear to God, it's always the little siblings, but when you share a room with your brother and your mama got a king size bed with a lock on her door. Stop talking. Wrong child. That's not mine. I don't know what that is. Bingo. All right, we got option A or option B. Choose one. Mama, let me explain. You want me to choose? We were just hanging out. All right, I guess I go with my personal favorite. Mama, please listen. You know what I like about this one? It leaves a mark. So if you decide to do some stupid shit again, it will start to sting, and you'll remember how it got there. See, this one, this one don't do too much damage. You'll be right back at it tomorrow. Mama, I'm telling the truth. Did you use a condom? Yes, I did. But y'all were just hanging out. Kyrie strikes again. I'd like to know which one of you sneaky fucks drank my cranberry juice. Who the fuck drinks Am I talking to myself juice? or do I have to start swinging? Now you know I would not touch your shit for long. Kyrie? What? Did you drink my cranberry juice? I didn't, but I want to know what was going to happen if I did. The fuck did you? Yes or no, you fucking psycho? If I say yes, what's going to happen? You're going to get your ass beat. That's what's going to happen. Can you say it again for the people in the back? Kyrie, I'm going to beat your ass if you touch my shit. Savannah, so, I know you ain't out here threatening my baby. Mama, he drank my cranberry juice. I drank it. Come beat my ass. Come here. Do what you said you was going to do to my baby. All right, Mama. Yeah, okay. Kyrie, why did I receive a phone call from your teacher earlier? I don't know. 
She said she told you to stop talking while she was teaching and you told her to shut her fat neck having ass up and to go eat a fucking Snickers. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Mama, he gives Miss Platypus problems all the time. You'll regret that. Brian, did I ask you for any extra information? Kyrie, you better start talking or I'm going to get in that ass. Mama, there was no reason for me to say what I said. I am so sorry. There's nothing I can say to justify me disrespecting that lady. As punishment, I give you my phone and I won't be playing my game for a week. Don't let it happen again. It won't. Favoritism. 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 It happens every time. Every time, bro. <laughs> Pants who want to play favorites. That is wild. Hell no, nah, mama. Hell no. Nah. Beat his ass. Who the fuck are y'all talking to like that? <laughs> I didn't laugh. I didn't laugh. That was, um, I was trying to catch my breath. All because of dishes. Mama, give me a second. I'm still trying to process this. All right, so solve this mystery. I asked to come home to no dishes in my sink, and there are three of you, so I just knew someone would comply. But I come home, and there are dishes in my sink. The question is, why? Go. Mama, it's simple. It wasn't me or Brian's turn. It was Savannah's. Who came up with this term shit? It wasn't a part of my terms and conditions. Well, Mama, I thought it'd be fair because there's three of us. But Mama, no problem. I watched them now because we're trying to go to the mall this weekend. Okay, solve this riddle and you can go to the mall this weekend. There are three boys and one sink full of dishes. Out of all three, which one spotted the dishes? We all saw them, Mama. It was just Savon's turn. So you knew what might happen if I saw them and still didn't take initiative regardless of whose turn it was. All three of you are grounded. Get the fuck out of my kitchen. Oh, that's wow. <laughs> we got a well, I didn't laugh. Mama, before you say anything, that's not mine or Savon's. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I asked anyone a question. You didn't, but please stop talking. I'm very upset at the moment. I do not wish to get physical just yet. I'm just going to ask. Whose is this? It's not ours, Mama. So then it's mine's? I wish it was, because I can't get shit with y'all's asses here. Somebody better tell me why Trojan ass is in my house and I mean now. Mama, it's not ours. Okay. Kyrie. Oh, shit. Yes, ma'am. Do you know who this belongs to? I do, actually. It's mine. I brought it home from school and put it on a banana for educational purposes. Damn it. I really want the fuck y'all get. Next time, sir. How much did that just cost us? Everything. Okay, Somebody so today I don't know when to lie detector test and be advised by your mother. I will know when there is deception. Brian, you're first. What were you doing last night? I was on my game. Deception detected. Kyrie, what were you doing last night? Minding my business. Inconclusive. Try again. Watching my show on Netflix. No deception detected. Brian, let's give it another go. Mama, I was on my game. Deception detected. It's okay, Bree. We'll try again in a moment. So, what were you doing last night? Deception. I was with a girl last night. No deception detected. We will discuss that matter at a later date. Brian. I was on my game, mama. Deception. If you were on your game, which I confiscated last week, that means you went in my room to retrieve it. I wrecked your car, mama. You don't get tired of me fucking you up. You know what? I'm not even going to touch you. I'm taking everything out of your room. No phone, no TV, just white wires and silence. Do you understand? Do you fucking understand? Yes, man. Fuck out of my kitchen. Mama, are you approaching? I'm turning 18 and want some changes made. As you know, I'll be turning 18 next week and there will be some changes in this house. My curfew is no longer 10 p.m. It's 2 a.m. I will no longer be responsible for your other two sons when you're not here. I am grown and responsible for myself. I will no longer ask you to go places. I will just be telling you. If you have an issue with me, you can no longer put your hands on me because it then will be considered assault. Is that all? Yep. Well, then I tell you to make some changes. Since you will be an adult, you are now responsible for getting yourself to and from school. I don't give rides to adults. Also, I cook for children, not adults. You'll need to get a job. I'll need rent money and light bill money. As for your curfew, you will not be able to gain access to my home after 10 p.m. Me and my children will be sleeping. 
Where you went is where you will stay. As for me putting my hands on you, as an adult, I will now take hands with you. And because I am a petty mother, I'll call the cops after and tell them a grown ass man just put his hands on me. Oh, that's crazy. Sounds good? We have a deal? My mom is depressed. Mama. I feel better. You said you're depressed? Yeah. Are you gonna ask me why? Humor me, Brian. I don't really have that many friends at school. I can't talk to Siobhan when he's with his friends. So I end up sitting by myself. I'm not in any sports, so the girls there don't even look at me. That's why you're depressed? Let me get this straight. You're an 11th grader who makes straight A's, has a four-year scholarship waiting, you're wearing clean clothes, you live in a clean house, and you're well taken care of with a bright future ahead of you. And you in my kitchen talking to me about these little bitches at school not looking at you because you don't play sports? I'm 100% sure these are some hoes with no morals or aspirations in life. As for you not having that many friends, you worried about the wrong shit. Let me tell you what you need to be worried about. Me seeing you start to lose focus and fuck up your grades because of this little bitch ass crisis you having. I'm going to become your new depression. Now get the fuck out of my kitchen talking to me about you depressed. Boy, if you don't go sit down and study for that test you about to take tomorrow, and I want nothing more but an A on that, or there's something else you want to be depressed about. I mean, I guess what she was trying to tell him is like you focus on the wrong shit, like focus it, like focus on your future type shit. But I don't know, man. That was a, that was a better way for you to put it, like. Mrs. Jackson, thank you for taking the time to meet for this parent-teacher conference. I feel it is long overdue. I'll get right to it. Kyrie interrupts my class. He talks about my hairline when confronted. I've had to send him to the office only for him to come right back with the same attitude. He is very useless. Talk. Interrupts your class. You asking for a pencil? I'm talking about your hairline. Don't recall doing that. Coming back from the office with the same attitude. Yes, because you just interrupted my education by sending me to the office for asking for a pencil. Kyrie, you're lying and this was... Address me, not my child. All right, let's address his lies and disrespect. What is your action plan on correcting his behavior? Mr. Rochecock, all I'm getting from this meeting is you've been harassing me. Rochecock is crazy. He takes eight classes and he's the only teacher complaining. Where are the other seven teachers? They feel it's a waste of time and I'm starting to understand why. Mama, he also makes me stand up in class because he thinks I'm falling asleep. This conversation is now graduated to a meeting with the principal. I guess I want to act brand new because I got a bigger house than the rest of us. Y'all still ain't shit. You talking also a lot of shit from my brand new installed carpet. As a matter of fact, take your shoes from Payless off please. Fuck you in this carpet. Y'all so fucking uppity. I told my mama not to bring me over here. We told our mama not to let her. Last time you were over here, we accumulated some roaches. Damn. Why? I will fuck you up. Hmm. That has to be the virgin and you talking. We both know your bitch ass couldn't fuck shit. Your mama's... <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, but nah, nah, that delivery was crazy. You accumulated some roaches. Brian, I will fuck you up. Hmm, that has to be the virgin and you talking. We both know your bitch ass couldn't fuck shit. <laughs> Your mama's a bitch. <laughs> Call my mama another bitch. Call her another bitch. Oh, to me. What's going on? Mama, it was tragic. His face fell into Kyrie's fist. No, that's not what happened. You're right. I forgot to mention you wanted to play truth or dare and dared us to pull our pants down. No, Aunt Tamika, that's not what happened. Evan, I don't know what y'all do at Charles house, but I don't play that shit here. Aunt Tamika, that's not true. Leave this door open, Brian. It's the piss stains on the toilet seat for me. The fact that you don't know how to utilize toilet paper to clean up your mess baffles me. Kyrie, it's the smeared boogers on the wall in your room for me. It's the you leaving your dirty drawers on the floor for me. Speaking of dirty clothes, I don't use my dirty clothes to step on when I'm exiting the shower. That's just fucking weird. Use the fucking towel to step on. I, I can't take advice from anyone who owns doo doo stained drawers. This is coming from someone who uses his own shirt as his comrade. That shirt you have on, is that one of your cum rags, sir? 
That is not fair. It's the moment I was about to piss off the toilet seat and wash the biggest thing raw for me. It's the moment having to remind her friends to take a shower because they smell like onions and do not shower regularly for me. It's the 15 inch toy dick in the third drawer for me. I skipped class to go off campus with my friends. Interesting. You have three options. Choose one. Hand up your keys. Next! Why'd you miss sports period? My mom was in the bathroom. I ate a chimney and it didn't sit right in my stomach. Who's your ass? Mama, they're all. Yo! That's your favorite! I'm telling you, bro! She's out here playing favorites! Wait, there's just no option. You just get your ass beat. All the same options. Oh, yep, they are. Which means you must be lying. So as you know, your brother has decided to conjure up a child. No, mama! No! I knew it. I knew out of all of us, he was gonna be the first one. Mama, please tell me you whooped his ass. Oh, y'all know I handled it. Okay, good, mama. You ain't ever gotta worry about me and Brian doing something like that. For real, mama, we ain't, we ain't stupid like that. That's a good to hear. So I guess we can go back to our rooms? No. As you both know, I like tying up loose ends. I'm having a hard time believing that the both of you knew nothing about this. But mama, we didn't. The next lie will result in me fucking both y'all up. Brian knew mama. Really, Kyrie? How did you know he knew Kyrie? So Brian, I guess me being in the shower was the perfect opportunity for you to come and try and try to argument with me because you know I can defend myself. But I'm out now, so what's up? I asked you to turn your speaker down because it was loud as fuck. Hey Brian, I need your tone and your body language to match that energy you had 15 minutes ago when I was in the shower. Because you were mad aggressive. If you let me finish, you missed opportunity for adoption. I asked you to turn your speaker down. You refused. End of discussion. What did you say you was going to do when I said I wasn't turning it down, Brian? You said you was going to beat my ass when I got out, right? I'm out. So what's up? I'm hearing a lot of talking and not enough swinging. Yes, sir. Stop on that slap box. Yo! Mama, look! Okay, so mama, I cleaned my room. I cleaned my bathroom. I cleaned the guest bathroom. I did all my homework. I washed dishes. And I folded all my clothes. I already cut the grass and the neighbor's grass. Yeah. What do you want? To go to the movies with my friend. There's a dish in my shoes. 
God, that's a that's more than ten. That's a that's a that's infinity. What? Wait, what? Okay. So when I'm done, can I go? Where did you put the lawnmower? In the garage? You are not about to have my garage smell like gasoline. Go put it in the shed. Mama, we don't have a shed. Go make me one. Oh my God! And then you can come back and watch this coffee cup. And that's thing. Just say you don't. Just say you don't want me to go, man. Just say you don't want me to go. That's, 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 that's not that hard. That's not that hard. There's no reason for you to do all that, but just say no. <laughs> the real reason why there ain't no man in the house. I'm not sure what y'all are used to before, but get unused to it. Y'all are out of control having babies. Catching STDs, having a smart ass fucking mouth, it stops today. And as long as I'm here, there will be order in this fucking house. Do I make myself clear? Kyrie, activate code 86. Did you just try to grab me, Greg? Did you just tell me to bend over, Greg? I don't want to bend over, Greg. Let go of me! Let go, Greg! Yeah. Greg, let go! <laughs> <laughs> Did we make ourselves clear? Kyle, so you guys are the trains. He's sleeping. How long y'all gonna leave me out over here? Until she gets off from work. Where's Savannah's baby? Y'all don't wanna play outside or something? We have a park up the street. Fuck all that. I'm trying to catch a fade with Kyrie since he thinks he's the biggest and baddest in his family. We'll see about that. Dylan? If I were you, I would stop. I cannot help you. If you get yourself in a situation. Oh, you don't need to do nothing. I got that. Man, please. I ain't scared of Kelly. I'll beat his ass. I want to see that. I was Shut your bitch ass up, Dylan. Get up. Get up, Dylan. Get up. Kelly, you're not going to touch my Try and stop me, bitch. Try and stop me. Is there a reason our three here? Right. Just like that. No Christmas. Well, Christmas is approaching, and you haven't really asked us what we want for Christmas yet. I don't know what type of mother y'all think I am, but I'm never asking to spend some money. But I am traditional, so what do you want? Well, all three of us want our own PS5. Three PS5s for my obedient sons. Savon, you ain't getting shit but some pampers and some formula. <laughs> Kyrie, yes, mom. You ain't getting shit. Shit with some campers and some formula. Kyrie. Yes, mommy. You ain't getting shit. If I'm not getting no pill socks, ain't nobody getting no pill socks. Brian, tell mama how you opened up a credit card in her name. I love when y'all snitch on each other. It saves me a lot of money. Brian, go bring me that credit card and my belt. Mama, we need to talk to you about your boyfriend. Excuse me? You let this man live here rent free and you let him eat up all our food. Oh, and what do y'all do? He's a grown ass man, mama. Savon, you are now 18 with a child of your own. Still living in my house rent free and unemployed. Mama, he stays on his game all day. What grown ass man at the age of 40 is playing Fortnite with 12 year olds? Why are y'all in our business? Well, let's talk about your business. Your business likes to shit in our bathroom and leave his booty residue on 
my toilet seat. Listen, this is my house, okay? And if I want to bring a man up in my house, I can do that. Y'all asses don't pay shit here. I have lost count of the little period smelling bitches y'all done snuck in my house. I'm not asking y'all to make them bitches pay rent. Start paying some bills and then we can have a conversation about who the fuck I bring in my house. Help me understand how my son got arrested for assault. Tamika, I told you you too soft on the boy. Greg, shut Greg. your ass up. You don't stop. Fucking speak. Kyrie. You don't talk. Cut it out. You need to train him to only speak when he is stopping to. Okay, enough, Kyrie. Why were you fighting at school? And it better be a good reason. Greg, I got this. He don't love his life. Stop. Greg, you don't love your life? Kyrie, start talking. Well, first of all, mama, Timmy Turner's fat ass thought it was okay to try and burn me because I had my do-rag on the class. So I picked up my desk and threw it at him. And now he is in a hospital and my son has a pending assault charge. You need to apologize to him and his mother and maybe she'll consider dropping the charges. His mother should be arrested for child abuse. She clearly is stuffing his fat ass 10 mils a day. Go to your room. Mama, this is Miss Vanessa. I am Miss Vanessa. This is my mother, Tamika. Savannah, I didn't ask you to introduce us. I asked you why she in my house. <laughs> I'm Versace's mom, the girl that your son impregnated, and the only reason I'm here is to find out what type of grown ass woman threatens a 17 year old girl. My sons, they speak a lot of whores in my home. They all get threatened. My daughter is no whore. She is the mother of your grandchild, and I'd like to know why you haven't bothered to meet your grandchild yet. Your daughter's name is Versace, and she named the child Louis Vuitton. I'm still waiting for a DNA test on the handbag. You are not gonna threaten my daughter and think I'm not gonna say anything about it, okay? Bitch, you got one more time to disrespect me and I'm gonna mop No, you don't want to get mocked with you. It's gonna get mocked with you. Okay? Mock with you. Mock with you. Mock with you. Bitch, fuck out of my house and make sure you got a whole high school football team in court too. So, Greg, we snitching now? You want me to snitch, bitch, now? What the fuck are you talking about? Well, Greg, our mother has obtained information on something that happened while she was at work that only the three of us know about. You were also here that day, too. Man, I ain't gotta explain shit to y'all. I ain't gotta explain shit. Now, Savon, you 18 now, so we can handle this like grown ass men if you want to. Greg, this is not the energy that you want. This ain't what you want. And Greg, your first mistake is thinking that you're gonna fight one brother and have to fight the other two. Well, stuff around this motherfucker. I'm so sick of y'all's little ass and y'all soft ass mama. She still got you on the goddamn titty. Yeah, I said it. What's up? All three of you? Okay? Let's go. Let's go. Kyrie said his mom would be sneaking you in here when they're asleep. So I thought I'd get here 15 minutes early to make this great. Lady, who the hell are you? Well, I could be one of two things. I can be the person to let you walk out of here with your freedom attached and you never come back. Or I could be your worst fucking nightmare. Lady, this ain't your house. What's that noise? Is that police sirens out here? I wonder what they think when they find an ex con who recently just put his hands on his girlfriend's children and just pushed a 75 year old woman against the stove. I'm still a little loose. Oh, lady, I never touched you. Oh, Gregory, don't be ridiculous. I know that. But the police don't. You know what? This whole fucking family is fucking crazy. I'm out. Fuck off, lady. Oh, not even in your dreams, bitch. You ready to see, Grandma? Is there a reason his back wasn't changed? Wow, you're holding the baby and still talking shit. Oh, no, wow. because she's talking about our baby. And when did I sleep with the whole football team? That's what I want to know. And when did you have me removed from your premises? I'd like to see you do that again. You've been talking all this shit about how the baby isn't his. And so if you put your hands on me, I swear you're going to jail. You put.
Now him and his dapper dad. So I know I got in town a day later. Boy, it's going so grandma with y'all mama got y'all for Christmas. My mama got me a DNA test for Christmas. She got me some shoes for Christmas. Some shoes and a DNA test. Pam, after the year they've had, I just know my baby Kyrie got his PS5 for Christmas. I remember you telling me that you asked your mama for one. I did tell you that, Grandma. Unfortunately, it didn't help me. Pam, Kyrie has been horrible this year. Brian hasn't been any better. And so people get to your inconsistencies as a mother momentarily. Where's my great grandchild? I'm waiting for a DNA test. Mama, that is my son. Savannah, we have been through this. So not only have you kept my son. No, your son hasn't been in their life. But you are now keeping Savon from seeing his son. I'm going to go ahead and invite myself to stay so I can oversee your mother and skills from this point on. Oh, Savon, I cannot wait to come over here when I heard the news. What's my great grandbaby? Oh, Grandma, you going to have to ask my mama where my son is. To make this. That was real fucking <laughs> Kobe. I don't know where the baby mama has been. I don't know where been around. Give it up, Timothy. You're still trying to hold on to your youth, which you lost when you decided to have three boys the whole time in high school. You're a fucking grandma now. Get over it. Pam, who the fuck do you think you are? You've had several kids and several abramas. Can you please just meet my son and his mama? Timmy, you're already an unfit mother. Don't be an unfit grandmother, too. Yo! Damn, I'm already. Mama! Fine, Saban! I will meet your trash ass baby mama and her son. Here you go. You must have a fucking death wish. Don't you ever in your fucking life throw some shit at me, Saban? What the hell is this? It's the results of the DNA test you requested. You haven't opened it. You want me to be the first one to open it? I'm calm, calm. What you got your homeboy in here is more supported. Okay. Trying to save you the embarrassment, son. What's it say, man? Somebody got me fucked up! You really went out here and named me somebody fucking grandmother? I'm still taking parenting classes and coming to terms with the fact that God has the audacity to allow me to get pregnant three times and you go and pull this shit. Hey, Ma. So my first born decides to have a baby on me. My middle child is confused about his sexuality. And now my baby boy is coming in my house off the curtain. Mama Brian, gay? Where the hell is you at, Kyrie? Mama, and do not lie! I was literally outside talking to one of my friends. You're so full of shit. Mama, I'm serious. Eat your ass. Wait, I got some information for you. Just hear me out. Now, I know you probably haven't forgiven Savon and accepted your grandson, but I just thought you should know that your grandson was conceived on your mattress. Also, all of Ryan's homeboys that you let come over and spend the night, I'm starting to realize that they weren't just coming over here to play as PS5. Mama, did you figure out when a baby in Versace could come over? Savon, leave me alone. I've been working and I've been tired. When I figure out a time and a date, you will be the first to know. Okay. Hey, Mama, I gotta talk to you about something. Brian, please, my nerves are bad right now. If you're about to tell me you got somebody pregnant. No, no, no. It's not that, Mama. Um, I'm gay. God, what's the issue? You got beef or something? You got, like, you gave me an unwanted grandchild, and now, how do you know? How do you know? Have you ever been with a man? Like, how do you know? How do you know, Brian? I have a boyfriend. Shit! You know what? I have an idea. Mama, how about you meet the boyfriend when you meet Versace and the baby? Hey, um, not y'all. That's Brian and his PS5. Savon, keep my name out your mouth. Mama. Can you please meet my boyfriend this weekend? Which one of your little homeboys that you always have in my house is your boyfriend? So you want to go there? You really want to go there? God, how did I not see it? Mama, can I go to my homeboy Jabari's house this weekend? Mama, can my homeboy Eric stay the night? Which one of your little homeboys turns you out, Brian? His name is Trenton, and I turned him out. 
Brian, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Oh my God, my mother. other team's parents accept them. Why can't you accept me? I'm not accepting the fact that my 60 year old son is getting bent over by another boy. Ain't nobody bending me over. You know what, mama? Don't even worry about it. I don't even want him to meet you at this point. Okay, I'm going to keep this. Wait, it's 30 minutes? Oh, shit. All right, so that was just a fun half. <laughs> As you can see, why I say he's the Tyler Perry of TikTok. That, that shit, that nigga is funny as fuck. So we're gonna finish the second half at a, at a, at a level right on Sunday. But I'm gonna end it here. Love you guys. I'm gonna see you on the next video. Please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. See y'all later.